All right, very cool. We celebrated Adam Smith's birthday a week ago, but Adam Smith can't hold a candle to David Bonson, who writes in National Review. Don't you love that? Isn't that great? And come on, that's the best intro you've ever had. Uh -huh. Here's uh, his, his article is, can we talk about economic growth again? And uh, he joins me now to talk about it. David Bonson, managing partner of the Bonson Group and author of There's No Free Lunch. Uh, David, this is a love. This is a really good piece, and in a sense, it's a bit of a revival for supply side economics. Why don't you just give us a quick paraphrase? You know, I would love to see supply side economics be a major issue in the election. But yep. even if the candidates don't want to say the word supply side, let's just say the word growth. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the idea of economic growth as a moral issue. This is the thing that's kind of bugging me as our nation gets more divided politically, more times going by, and we're half of real GDP growth for now 15 years. You were there in NEC when we had the one year of 3%, mm -hmm. one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one time in 15 years. Other than that, we've averaged 1.6% since the financial crisis. Real economic growth, net of inflation, productivity, uh, that can come back with the right policy prescription. The American DNA is still significantly different than our friends in Europe and Japan. I believe that. Uh, but no one wants to talk about it. Here's a good line. Uh, dismissing the significance of tax cuts and regulatory rollback for conservative politics and policy ignores that they have provided the most trenchant means for combating the largesse of progressive policies. That's exactly right. This is a battle yep. between capitalism and socialism, yep. but in particular, the incentive model of growth, which now you mentioned Jude Waniski, yep. and you mentioned Art Laffer, and you mentioned Robert Mundell, uh, Laffer, my dear friend and mentor. I knew Waniski. Waniski was a strange duck, but he was a great editorialist. Yeah. I knew Mundell very, very well, and he was a brilliant man, and he taught me a lot of money. But the point is, um, the incentive model of growth is an important uh, counterpoint to socialism. And it's also the essence of economics. Right. God made us to act, to produce. This is sort of what the created human person is. And the supply side model caught into that. And even before your contemporaries, Mundell, Laffer, these guys, some of them are still with us. Mm -hmm. Some are not. It's David Ricardo. It's Adam Smith, who you joked about before. I wish my book sales could catch up to the wealth of nations. Smith has done well. He's done pretty Just well. Just in the past year or yeah, two. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> but, but that's what it comes down to. The incentive model has to do with we don't need incentives to consume. Mm -hmm. We all know what we like to consume. The incentive to produce, you've got to remove impediments. That's what deregulation is about. You know, if you write another one here, you could put in my pal Jean-Baptiste Say, who wrote at the turn of the 18th century, let's see, 1804, I think, was yeah. Say's Law, something like that. Uh, I came just a little bit later than yes. that. But he always argued, in effect, we produce in order to consume. Yeah. Production has to come first. Production provides the means for consumption. And that you can only consume once you've produced, and you can only consume once someone else has produced. Mm -hmm. And that was sort of, you know, Keynes was the one who said, says law was that supply creates its own demand. But he was being somewhat sarcastic. But, yeah, but he's actually it. right. That, yeah. That's at the end of the day, in aggregate across society. That's exactly how production works. And you emphasize in this piece, which I also love, um, it work, the dignity of work and the necessity of work and how work has been devalued. The socialists and the progressives have devalued work because they don't want, they want government. They don't want work. They want government. That needs to be a campaign issue. Some of the people running need to talk about work as a, a, a not only a dignifying thing, but a moral issue. Yeah, I know. I'm on it. I'm on it. Great piece. Um, you will outsell Adam Smith this year. There's no question in my mind. Yeah, I don't. I don't think so. His name is much more uh, Googleable than mine is. Five, four, three. David Bonson, the best of the best. A good growth piece in the National Review. Please read it. 